all right guys a new scenery over here but i do want to welcome you guys back to the channel thank you very much for joining us today uh, before we do get moved on with this video guys and move forward i do want to welcome our eight new subscribers guys yes sir we have eight new subscribers which it puts us at 606 yes sir we we're on our uh final notice here of 606 subscribers we finally made it sorry the sun is strong out here uh we're out here in texas today uh so yeah just doing some stuff out here y'all see that real soon but without that with all that said guys i do appreciate every single one of you welcome to our channel all those eight subscribers i do appreciate you guys uh subscribing liking sharing thank you very much and uh thanks to all of you uh we're at 606 today appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you guys at the shop let's get started vamonos once this plate is off um this we just need the outer skin and then we're going to do the opposite here we're going to take the outer skin and leave the plate inside so this skin can just slide in there if it makes sense and then re-weld it pss, 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 pss. and then it'll be strong and then weld our beam right there our beam over here and we'll be all right and then do all the other spot wells and then put the top sheet metal and nothing ever happened that's the plan Okay, so that is that. We went ahead and uh, mock. We're mocking everything up. We're gonna mock the door, fender, everything. Make sure everything's aligning before we start spot welding anything. Uh, right now, all we did was just mock this bottom piece in here. We're supposed. Oh, sorry. Oh, fail. Uh, this piece right here was supposed to go uh, right there, and then uh, in its original spot wells, and then we put a couple of uh, screws there. On four corners just so it holds this steady without moving that way we can get a clear shot at this here and this one's here so we're gonna measure between that and this one's on the spacing on that side make sure it lines up on this side also look at on, on the forms uh, website and all that stuff we did have to take a little bit of uh, this stuff look at that all bondo I was hitting it hard with the hammer and I was only able to chip the corner right there so as you guys can see there's plenty of more so I gotta knock all that out wherever it goes. And uh, I did went ahead and line it up to how much metal we have so I don't mess it up any farther than this line right there. So from that line, this way, we're able to hit as much as we want. From that line over there, we gotta be careful. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try to cut as far as possible and line up the new metal sheet, but that's gonna be for later right now. All I'm worried about is if the door's gonna line up and close and open on this car so that's that so we're gonna go ahead and mock up the door mock i uh, was gonna put the metal sheet but the sheet metal doesn't do much other than make it look pretty so we should be able to mock up the door with this as it is right now and see where it lands up and then i'll just put some washers right here so it gives us the skin amount this way out uh but yeah that should be it let me go ahead and get that mocked up and hopefully it fits good and we can start welding if not, then we're going to have to start doing some more stuff to it, messing with it a little bit more. Let's find out.
Alrighty guys, so we try to align this damn thing on. Hold on, let me turn this. Hey, see off or fan, whatever you guys want to call it. Oh, so hot out here. Alright, so we found out why this door is not opening when we have it all tied up. It aligns up really well, but it doesn't open. It's too close to that door, so I was like, maybe it needs to be screwed up a little bit more. It is not the case. Whoever did this car uh, mangled the heck out of it. This door needs to be moved back. Um, I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Look at that. That's a big gap right there. And this door is completely closed. Look at that. So I go get the good side for reference, you know. I'm like, maybe it's just like that. But no, this stick does not fit in there. So yeah, this door needs back on that side. And that should give us the space we need over here because we're not supposed to get the stick in there in order for this door to open and close properly, which at this point is not even doing that because of this. So this door needs to be moved back a lot this way in order for us to get our opening. We don't even have an opening right here. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. We're lapsing this door on this door. Oh, so now I have to take this door all the way back off. Losing this one, scoot it backwards, and then try this one again. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. All right guys, we mock up the fender. Everything's lining up there. Her line is really good. Obviously we're missing a chunk of metal right there. Uh, fender's lining up with the light and everything else. The doors are lining up really, really good. Opens and closes. And also this right here is fixed. Lines up really well. And um, all we're not lining up is down there. There's a piece of bondo that goes from that point to this point. And it's pushing the door up a little, so we need to shave that off so the door can freely open and close. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to sand a lot in that area right there. Um, and we're going to cut about right there, so that's way past our our limit. I guess they did that so it looked form, uniform or whatever, but since we're putting new sheet metal, we got to put everything back to OEM. And um, yeah, fender lines up really well. It's just a piece of metal right there missing. Other than that... We are golden, guys. Doors open and close. Um, here's the back door. Earlier, we couldn't even open it. As you guys can see, the line is there now. We actually have a line right here. The line is closed how it's supposed to be. And now we can open this door and close it. And likewise for the driver door. Right here, we can open this one, obviously. See that? Yeah, we got our hinge. And there are well of course this is not welded so it's not it's a little bit flexible but not as much um so it only mimics what it's gonna look like so we are gonna have to put a little push harder there for now but uh you know to close it because of the flex but once it closes we flex it where it's supposed to be right there that's close yeah good to go so once we weld everything and there's no more flex on this side Everything should be just fine. She, that was a mission. Now it's time to start taking everything back apart and start welding stuff in.
right guys so we started uh spot welding already don't worry we did clean out the areas and we did put a uh, weld through primer um, you got to do all that stuff on both sides of the metal before starting to tag weld anywhere if you want it to last if you don't care about it it's just a backyard project and you're gonna throw it away or don't care about it in general it'll last you about five ten years max uh, but if you do it properly it'll last a lifetime uh, this is what we're doing here today just doing it properly so it lasts a while and uh, yeah after we done spot welding we're gonna clean it with our brush uh, it's somewhere in there and then we're gonna go ahead and throw another coat of primer and then a little bit of uh, uh, rust-oleum paint so it stays good and healthy underneath and then we're gonna proceed to uh, do the metal work which is the nice uh, metal on the outside Whew, a lot of work to do today Okay, okay, okay. Let's turn this off real quick. Man. Oh, all right, guys. So it is nighttime already. We have been welding all day, getting everything prepped. This by no means is cute welds or anything. It's just us getting everything structured and make sure it's on there and ain't going to go nowhere. Now, the top piece is what we're going to have to make all nice and pretty. So that's the one we're going to pay attention. We still got to grind most of these uh, welds here that we did. Uh, we weld the whole thing around. Same goes on this side. Uh, we went ahead and got that welded in. Um, and then over here, we did the spot welds. We're going to weld that right there. But we got to peel a little bit of that outer skin up and then get in there with the welder. Finish that up. Other than that, every spot weld is done. And also, I went ahead and got this uh, welds in here. Or if you guys remember, I told you I was going to weld them through the inside. There they are. As best as I can do for what I can reach. Uh, where's the other ones? Right there. 
So yeah, we went ahead and got those welded. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sand this ones back here. Nobody's ever gonna see them, but we're still gonna throw a little bit of paint on them just to make them look nice. Uh, if anybody's under here doing some wire work or anything like that. But yeah, we gotta connect all our wires that we disconnected and got out of there. Just so we can get in there and weld. But uh, yep, that was a mission. Uh, but I'm glad that piece of metal is done. It is secured, ready to go. So all we need is to do the outer skin and uh, finish cutting or taking this bundle off. Whew, yeah, we got a lot of work to do still, which is crazy. But that'll be for tomorrow. Will be another day. So yeah, we'll get back with it. Finish welding everything, uh, cutting the metal. Hopefully the outer skin goes way faster than the inner skin. That's for sure. And um, put it all back together one last time. Make sure everything fits. And then tight everything up if everything's good. And then, um, yeah, be done with this thing. The good news is we don't have to paint the door. If you guys remember, we got the same color. We just got to clean it with water and soap because it is a little dirty. But that's about it. Um, and then right here, it turns out I just got to push a little bit with the hammer. It was a little too up. They didn't quite get the hit out. They just painted over it. So, yeah. Lucky us, right? But just a little bit, not that much. So we just uh, tap with the hammer right uh, down here on the, what do you call that? The rocker panel, I think it's called. This right here. I don't know where the side skirts go. Uh, we just got to lower it a little bit and then smooth it out and the door should open and close easily. Whew. But yeah, other than that, we're golden. All right, well, I'm going to turn everything off, get everything situated and... I am a mess, guys. Yes, I've been out here welding with that helmet on, off. It's crazy. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead. And, we're going to go ahead. Oh, well, I'm tired. And catch up tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. And that's actually gonna be it for this video, guys. I definitely appreciate you all subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. And um, upcoming next, y'all already know we gotta get this done. Um, next video for sure, for sure. We're gonna get everything put back together. It's been a long time. See you guys on the next one. Thank you.